what's up guys it's talha here in this video i'm going to show you how to create sloping and vertical window in revit let's get started so today's video is actually related to my last week's video in which i shared with you how you can create the slanted windows in revit and today also we are going to be using the same method to create the sloping and vertical window so first let's create a basic house model here so select wall and let's draw a rectangle here 20 feet by 35 now let's create the roof we'll just leave it uh, level 2 here and click yes and then draw a rectangle around this these walls here now select these two lines and remove the slope uh, from these two faces of this roof so just uncheck here define slope and then click finish and okay it's asking as if we want to attach these walls to the roof or not so let's click yes and then go to 3d view now let's create the sloping uh, and vertical window on this side here so go to the right view and we are going to be using roof by extrusion to create that first change the visual style to wireframe and then go here click on this drop down and select roof by extrusion and this dialog box will pop up you just need to select pick a plane and click ok and select the face of this wall here if i hover over this wall it's highlighting the face so just click and just leave it on level 2 again and click ok now we can use pick lines and give a 3 inch offset here on this side and then this vertical select that again 3 inches select this vertical line and then we can use tr for trim and join that line and let's select this line again and make it 8 feet and this one we can make it three feet perfect now we can change the roof type from generic to slope glazing and then click finish and just orbit around here you can see the glass let's just select that okay first click finish and then we have the dimension here for this uh, glass so just click on that and make it three feet perfect now if i change the visual style to shaded you can see that glass is not visible here because we have created that inside this roof and this wall so we need to create the opening here to see this glass so to create the opening you can just go here in the opening tab and select by face opening by face and then select the face of this roof and use pick lines and pick all these lines here on this side as well then tr for trim trim these corners as well let's click finish and we are getting this error that can't keep wall and roof joined so you can just cancel i think we can just extend this line a bit more if you leave it on the same face it, it will give you that error so just take this line a bit outside this roof as well as this wall and then click finish and we have created the opening here on this roof now to create the opening on this wall we can create the model in place and create the void here if you are thinking why i'm not talking about editing this wall profile the reason why we cannot do that is because right now this wall is attached with this roof if i click edit profile it will give me this error that revit removes the top and base attachments which we don't want so we can just close that and cancel and let's create the void to create the opening here so click on this drop down and select model in place here you can select generic models click ok ok again and go to this uh, back view here and then from this drop down select void extrusion set the work plane pick a plane and uh, pick the face of this wall 
now just draw a rectangle here from that corner to this and then we can just change the visual style to wireframe and drag this line until this window and orbit around here you need to take this void through the wall right now the handles are not visible here for that so just click outside and then select this void again and it's showing these two handles now which we can just select and drag perfect let's cut it select a geometry and then select void and this wall and we have created the opening on this wall as well now click finish model and let's add the mullions to it just go to architecture select mullion and then all grid lines and you can select whatever you like for now i will just select this 2.5 by 5 inch mullion and just click on this uh, glass here and we got the mullion surround now let's click on this one as well and if i zoom in here we got this gap which we don't want so to fill that gap we can use model in place again just cancel and select model in place again and again i will select generic models and then select sweep pick path and pick the edges of these mullions here first select that one and then this one and just orbit around and select this one as well and now go to the right view change the visual style to wireframe and then click finish first because right now we are in this uh, in this pick 3d edges first you need to click finish and then edit profile let's draw a profile here for that we can use pick lines then pick these lines here and on this vertical one as well now you can use tr select this vertical line and then this one and select these two to trim that and then these two and then this one and we have created this uh, profile here for the sweep now click finish and finish again and we have fixed that gap let's apply the material to this sweep just select that and then in the materials and finishes click on this corner here and here we'll select the same material as the mullions so right now aluminum is applied to this mullion so i will just select that and click on user render pns and click ok and you can see it's looking a lot better now let's click finish model and if i zoom in here you can see we got the edges of this sweep here which we can hide just go here in the modify tab click on this line work and the line style you can select invisible lines you can click on the edges of this sweep here to make it invisible here as well as here let's hide these lines as well and it's looking perfect so that's how you can create this looping and vertical window in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video